Good morning, Core Cutters Antoine here with Core Cutter Lifestyle and Tech, and welcome back to another episode of Core Cutter Daily. I've got some pretty hot and interesting topics I want to talk about this morning. One specifically being the the um, internet service providers reaction to the coronavirus and the steps they're taking to ensure that their employees are safe and their customers are satisfied all right so right here we at the otantana.com website where you know i just want to show you guys this um, quibi release date and peacock release date timer you can check out at any time to let you know when you can sign up and also with quibi they are offering um, a promotion right now if you go to their website you can sign up and for i think it's a 90 day free trial so you can go ahead and sign up there they will actually let you know uh, when to sign up and receive the 90 day free tr free trial folks so that's something something you definitely want to check out i will link their website in the description below all right so the first topic i want to talk about folks is what's going on with uh, bill gates and his ted talk so back in 2015 bill gates did a ted talk uh, pretty much talking about how we as a nation are not pre prepared for a viral um, um, disease type of outbreak. We, he says, we're well well prepared for a, a, a war when it comes to guns and machinery, but we're not prepared at all for a, a virus outbreak, disease outbreaks. And he goes into um, depth in the TED Talk. I definitely recommend you guys taking, checking that out. Like I said, it's trending on YouTube right now and uh, definitely is inter I mean we talking about this is five almost five years ago so this guy really 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 is ahead of his time so all right next thing we want to talk about is friendly TV has added the curiosity stream channel now this one right here had me kind of baffled um, so what I did um, is I contacted friendly TV to see if curiosity stream was available as an add-on because the reason they had me baffled is because friendly tv starts at 5.99 per month of course they have different packages this is the standard package uh, standard hd i mean standard definition package then the hd package is 7.99 but with friendly tv you also get cloud dvr um their their channels offer live tv service of course they don't have locals and sports like that but curiosity stream by itself is two dollars and ninety nine cent per month so f that's more than half the price of friendly tv so like i said i contacted uh, friendly tv and I, I just pretty much asked them is this available as an add-on or is it included and i will keep you guys updated um when they message me back so getting into the internet service providers and the coronavirus so uh, like i said a lot of companies are joining forces to keep their employees um, safe and their customers satisfied. So T-Mobile is one of those companies and they actually um, kind of partnered up with some, some other companies. Well, some other companies actually partnered up to help T-Mobile with their spectrum. So T-Mobile has been granted access to 600 megahertz spectrum for the next 60 days, expanding their network. So what has happened? Um, Dish, um, granted them access to some of their spectrum. Comcast granted them access to some of their spectrum. Um, so the list of other companies right here. Blue Water, uh, Grain Management Affiliated, um, LB Holdings, Omega Wireless. So, I mean, the camaraderie that's going on through these times is, um, I think it's maybe it's set a benchmark for these companies, right? Hopefully it'll do that. But um, another company that's um, doing stuff for its customers is AT&T. So what AT&T is doing for its customers, aside from what they're doing for their employees, they're you know telling their employees, hey, you can work from home. If your, if your job title allows you to work from home, go ahead and do it, right? Um, of course, there are job titles in the telecommunications industry where the person cannot work from home, such as a technician, 
um, or somebody that just has to be in the office. But if you can work from home, I'm pretty sure a lot of my company is doing this, the company I work for, and I'm pretty sure there's more companies out there that's saying this. But what AT&T is doing for its customers is they will not terminate the service of any wireless home phone or broadband residential or business customer because of the ability, inability to pay their bill due to disruptions caused by the uh, coronavirus. So what they're saying is if you can't work you have the you may get sick or you know maybe the company you work for can't afford to pay you for the time you have to take off and you know they're going to work with you you know similar to what was going on with uh, when the teachers was on strike the um, auto workers was on strike they well um some of them were able to get their um bills postponed but you know at&t is doing it um, they're also waiving any late fees uh, that any wireless home for a broadband residential business customer incurred because of the economic hardship. And they're going to keep their public Wi-Fi wi hotspots open for any American who needs them. All right. So um, also their unlimited home Internet service. So they're giving their customers unlimited home Internet service. And they're also offering qualifying low income households. Um, ten dollars of internet access um, for ten dollars a month through our access from AT&T program AT&T World Connect Advantage uh, helping you work and learn remotely so business and universities I think that's pretty much what it boils down to because all right students you have universities closing down um, and telling the, um, their students you know our courses are going to be you have to do your courses online of course spring break is going to come early um, teachers might have to work from home professors um, if you're a customer service rep you can work from home so all this adds up to more data i mean remember folks the world is connected it's not only core cutters that use internet it's also companies use a ton of internet um, schools use a ton of internet all right so another company that's on board with it is um, dish network and you can go to their website check out the statements um they have put out but you know dish network they responded but you know they helping um eight um t-mobile but you know aside from that um t is there anything that more that dish can do yeah they can waive um late fees possibly but they haven't put out a release on that yet but i'm pretty sure if it came down to it um they probably would waive um your your late fee but they probably, <laughs> knowing a satellite company, they might have um, signed another two-year agreement. <laughs> That's just what they do. But we'll see. We'll see. And also, Comcast is doing something that is um, probably profound. Um, they're offering free Wi-Fi or, you know, people f free access to their community hotspots so xfinity wi-fi free for everyone you don't have to be a customer with a login um it's going to be free for everybody across country so if you're in an area or a city or a town where um xfinity wi-fi is available you can have access to it for free you do not you do not have to be an xfinity customer all you can do well if you want to check it out and see if it's available in your area um, you go to the Xfinity dot Xfinity.com slash Wi-Fi website. I will post a link to that in the description or in the comment section where you guys can check it out and see if you available for a free hotspot. But, um, you know, ma the majority of the Internet service providers are already um, extending data plans, waiving data caps. Um, so, you know, will you need this? I haven't heard anything from Verizon yet but um maybe they're already on it but just in the backgrounds but i'm pretty sure um after this week or in a couple of days we're probably going to start hearing from more internet service providers and you know maybe even television services right so what other things they're doing they're pausing our data plan with so many working um and educating from home you want customer to have 
without thinking about data plans. While the vast majority of our customers do not come close to using one terabyte of data in a month, we are pausing our data plans for 60 days, giving all customers unlimited data for no additional charge. And again, they're doing the same thing that AT&T is doing. No disconnect or late fees. And the Internet Essentials program is similar to um, what the AT&T program, which gives access internet access to low income households for 9.95 a month uh, it's fine like it's five cent cheaper than what at&t has to offer but still it's free um, it comes at the 25 megabytes per second downstream and three megabytes per second upstream so all in all folks that's 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 great news so news information education so let's hop on over to this is the um, the hot the hotspot the Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspot screen. So I'm gonna again I'm gonna put that in the description. But another thing I want to talk about is Yahoo mobile phone service. So if you haven't heard about them, Yahoo has a, a mobile phone service, and you know it's not a a, a Wi-Fi type of internet phone like like Google Fi it's not based on Wi-Fi so what it is is they're on the Google network so let's see right here if we could just go to the website so how it works it's only forty nine dollars per month it uses the Verizon uh, wireless 4G LTE network and you get unlimited data talks and text no hidden fees no sneaky charges so it's similar to Metro PCS you know you pay one flat price per month again unlimited data talks and web all right so if we could just go ahead and take <clears throat> go ahead and take a look at my notes right here so um so how it works is you either get a you either get a sim card kit in the mail or you can purchase a phone um, from them so let's see if we can tell you what let's go to yahoo mobile i had the website up i closed the page it was tough finding it it was tough finding because you know yahoo has so much going on emails all that that uh Let's see if I can find. Okay, yahoomobile.com. Let's see if that'll do it. Nope, 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 nope. Here we go. Yahoo Mobile dot com why doesn't it show at the top of my google chrome search results hmm i wonder why all right folks so like i said you can either get a sim card mailed to you or you can just um, get a new phone so they have a big selection of phones and like i said you're using the verizon 4g lte network um of course they have apple phones google samsung you know you know some of the some of the top phones one thing is um it's forty dollars a month right and it looks here that you have the option to pay on it you have a payment plan set up a lot of carriers are doing that to have the plain payment plan which i think is a great idea but um, i only ever did that one time in my life and by the time i finished paying for it the phone was completely um uninteresting to me um you know about six months in i was thinking why am i even paying for this but um, still if you really really want a phone you really want to you could take care of it you know go for it go for it go for it all right so you know uh, so a couple other things about this service i wanted to touch on i was trying to think of what i'm going to touch on but things you can do you could do with this phone carrier it's not like a uh, rushed out type of service you can port your number in or you can get a new number you of course you're gonna have to pay for a new number if you want a new number but you can use your existing phone number transfer it over to this service um they they do have mobile hotspot um you will have access to yahoo's 
premium mail system for free for one year and um yeah unlimited talk text and web folks make sure you check it out all right so one last thing i want to talk about is the roku player so um i think the general idea of the roku player is um it's just used for streaming um but i mean there's a lot of features on the roku player that are not available um that are available on other devices such as bluetooth i mean with the roku player you cannot connect to any bluetooth device you can only connect to a roku branded um blue bluetooth device and um you know so it kind of limits your sound options right unless you really know how to you know connect to a, a sound bar um wired or a surround system you know unless you know how to do all that but most people you know they're used to connecting via bluetooth getting it in getting it plugged up getting it connected wirelessly two steps you've you know boom bam you're done but with, with roku um it's brand specific you know sort of like what iphone does so you know my thing my question was is well my question is is um roku the iphone of streaming devices um they're one of the most popular uh, well i would say they the second most used streaming device behind amazon fire stick and the reason i think amazon fire stick is ahead of roku is because the ability to install developer app apps you can side load a amazon fire stick easily it, the system is run like the android system there's just so much you can do with the amazon device it's just ridiculous and, you know and even though roku is playing catch up i still you know i like this system and it, to me is 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 um i try to think all right how how they made it this far with their with their with the, the way they operate again imagine a device coming out against android devices and amazon fire stick that doesn't have bluetooth uh, capability in a day and age where flat screen tvs don't have good sound quality um but maybe sound quality is just not that big of a deal to as many people as i think it is right um but you know that's just something that was ringing up but i definitely i definitely feel like roku is the apple of streaming devices and i believe it this the the way they're playing it um just sticking with their you know um with their branded products for connectivity like i said it's hard to when they first came out you, you couldn't do a screen mirror or screencast now you can uh, uh on the i know on the roku ultra you can but it was um it was a uphill battle it seemed like for the consumer but um the interface was user friendly um it was very user friendly but you know folks let me know what you think about um the roku player do you see it as a superior product than uh, other streaming devices such as android tv or amazon fire stick do you see it as a superior device um again with roku there are really no live tv options like with the amazon fire cube you with the amazon fire stick you can install uh amazon fire cube and um you have the live tv option you can go into your options and select your live tv source um you can do the same thing with the um, sling air tv mini certain android boxes you have a option to display live tv channels with the roku you you can do it but you can do it from different apps like if you want to watch ota over the air channels without uh, subscribing to a service you can do it like if you have a tableau dvr you can access it um through the roku interface and things like that but that is it folks hope you have a great day and i will talk to you guys next time